Look around today. We're having a lot of problems with our ability to think. From ADHD, Asperger's, autism, bipolar, depression, anxiety, stress, dementia, Alzheimer's, post-traumatic stress disorder, foggy thinking. Really, many of us are having problems, even with sleeping. Insomnia is something that millions of people have. And we have to start looking at that. If we want to maintain our brain and help our brain, then we have to start including the lymphatic system. There's a very big connection between the lymph system and the brain. Starting in the womb, the fetal brain is dependent on its lymphatic system, research is showing. So when a mother becomes slightly acidic, and many moms during pregnancy have acidity, and normally it ends in preeclampsia, which was once called toxemia of pregnancy, meaning you're filling with dead cell material and acidic fluid. So we have to understand how that waste can affect the fetus by not allowing its lymphatic system to clean its brain but really it can affect any organ in the fetus. It can affect their eyes, it can affect their pancreas, so they're born with type 1 diabetes, uh, or even their kidneys or lungs. So it's so important to understand the lymph-brain connection in the body. When it comes to depression, anxiety, bipolar, uh, Alzheimer's, we really know that it's about dead cell material. When I put somebody through a lymphatic system detoxification, which just is a few sessions in a week, by the second session, they're not sleeping well at night. They're more depressed. They're more aggressive. They're not feeling well. They're biting the heads off of others. The next day, they're fine because that waste is cleared out. If you have problems with how you think, if you have a child who has a problem with how you think, it really is about cellular waste, B amyloid plaque or other waste building in the brain. There is a disease called Batten disease. Children are born healthy, and within three to five years, they die incapacitated because waste has built in their brain, their nerves, their body. So we have to understand how this waste in our body and brain is affecting us. It's affecting our children. It's affecting us as we get older. It really is about waste building in the brain. Research has shown that 48% of your cerebrospinal fluid, the fluid that's meant to maintain and protect your brain, must be absorbed by the lymphatic system. Now, the brain has no lymphatic vessels, but indirectly, the brain is cleaned by the glymphatics. Inside the brain, new research shows that there are glymphatics around your blood vessels in the brain. And there are these little, not really vessels, but a matrix around your blood vessels that shunts or pulls cerebrospinal fluid to the blood vessels and lymph vessels outside of the cranium. So it's important to understand that we can actually control the amount of waste building in our brain or body by making, uh, by making sure our lymphatic system is working, meaning it's flowing. Very often, we get tight around our neck and shoulders. This is where the major lymph drain is. So if you're tight constantly in your neck and shoulders, then we know we're limiting lymph flow out of the head and out of the body. So if our neck and shoulders become tight, then waste cannot come out of our brain easily. And slowly, we fill with waste, which can limit circulation. And in Alzheimer's, they know that the brain actually shrinks and circulation can have a big effect on how large or uh, small our brain is. So we have to start thinking about moving our lymph flow, opening up our neck and shoulders, simply making sure your neck and shoulders don't get tight. Just move your shoulders a little more. Throughout the day, don't let them get tight. If you're sitting, which most of us sit during the day for a living, you have to be able to move, stretch your arms over your head because we don't move our hands over our head a lot. And when we move our arms, when we move our shoulders, we're opening up our major lymph drain. Just that little bit I did, my shoulders and neck, back of my neck, is tingling, meaning blood flow is going there. We must include the lymph brain connection and understand how we have control over improving our lymphatic system to help remove waste from our brain.